Minecraft should be rated M for prone to cause loneliness and depression. Before we start, I should say that I enjoy playing Minecraft. This is not a knock on the game at all. But there is something about this game and sandbox games in general that expose our tendency to view life as vanity. In the game, you're spawned alone in an endless world to survive, gather resources, and build anything you can imagine. All of that sounds fun, except for the alone part. Unless you're playing on a server, which is really the only way to play the game, your work is only appreciated by you alone. The feeling of vanity comes quickly as your choices make no difference, and your mastery of the environment, the beautiful structures you have labored for, are only appreciated until you get bored and move on never to be seen again. There are even hints that others once roamed the world you inhabit, but all you're left with are empty structures and abandoned mine shafts. Also, who chose the soundtrack for that game? It's super depressing. The question we need to ask, though, is how does real life differ from a sandbox game? There are certainly similarities, endless options, inexhaustible terrain, and for some, an undercurrent of hopelessness. But the differences seem to be the key. One of the fundamental differences is that we are moral agents. We can make life better for others in a meaningful way. We can grow. We can learn. Many ancient philosophers equated a fulfilled life with philosophy. That seems like a convenient thing for a philosopher to say, but it's worth remembering. There's no philosophy in Minecraft. Maybe I'm wrong, but you can tell me how I'm wrong in the comments below. See you next time.